Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Um, it's it's uh, great to have you. Thanks for coming. Um, we're excited once again to be remounting uh, Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Uh, I feel a little like a kid in a candy store. I wrote the joke last night. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks so very much for joining us. Um, and I'm happy that you're here to once again hear about uh, Christmas Carol. Uh, five years ago in 2003, I had a crazy idea that I'd like to do a simple stage reading of A Christmas Carol. I didn't have any work that Christmas and uh, wanted to keep myself busy. Here we are in 2008 and that simple reading quickly grew to a full-scale family show. Uh, it played to huge houses in 2003, was remounted in 2005 and has been seen by 18,000 people so far. I actually did the math. Um, I've played over 70 performances of the show. We've performed in 25 schools and a whole variety of venues around uh, the province. And that's a whole lot of humbug. Uh, I'm thrilled today to announce that A Christmas Carol is back this Christmas and it's bigger and better than ever before. Uh, in 2008, we're delighted to introduce new, improved puppets. If you've seen the show before, and I know that Alyssa has, uh, we, we had puppets playing some of the ghosts. Well, uh, even though it's a one-man show, we have gorgeous, scary, hilarious, and spooky new puppets this year to compel old Ebenezer to revisit his past uh, explore his present and look into a bleak future. This year we also have a lovely brand new set built by the talented craftspeople at Neptune Theatre. And of course, A Christmas Carol, while it's billed as a one-man show, has never ever been any such thing. Behind the scenery, there's always been a team of people operating puppets, moving walls, hitting sound and lighting cues, and pushing me on stage at 9 o'clock in the morning at a school matinee in the middle of nowhere while I'm weeping but I don't want to go on stage. This year's crew, Justin Dekai, Sarah English, and Kristen Langell, will be along for a roller coaster ride of a Christmas season. And in fact, we're joined this morning by Kristen and Sarah, who are yet to start rehearsing the show and so are yet to find out what kind of a hell they've left themselves in for. I should also note that uh, I'm delighted that Kristen is joining us as she brings a very uh, particular set of skills to our show this year. As well as the talents with puppets and her acting skills, Kristen is a circus performer. Now, I, I don't want to give away too much, but let's just say that one of the ghosts will be quite spectacularly presented this year, and the audience will be looking up. But that's all I can say. But I want to let you know that's happening. In 2005, um, we hit upon the idea of a performance turned over specifically for mothers and babies and toddlers and small children. It was a lot of fun. This year, on December the 4th, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll have a Babes in Arms show, when mums and dads can bring their little, little ones to Neptune and see the show with no fear of reproach. Uh, and there are special prices for the really small ones. In other words, babies get in for free. And little toddlers that sit on laps get in for free. Um, and we have children's prizes for that show, too. We're delighted to announce, this is the uh, great exciting news, we're delighted to announce the creation of a Scrooge for Schools program, where six matinee performances at Neptune are turned over to school children free of charge. Now this is with the support of local businesses and supporters. Hundreds of children will get to experience theatre. We'll be announcing uh, more about this wonderful program very shortly, when all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, and we've been working with Councillor Dawn Sloan, who is here right now. Uh, on creating this program, and we've already uh, been fortunate to welcome Egg Films and Stainer's Wharf as two guaranteed sponsors of, sponsors of this program, and more are coming, so we'll be with you very shortly with details of that. Uh, it's a fantastic program. It brings kids in for free. Uh, Scrooge is also hitting the road, as we do every time we do the show. We're pleased to announce that we're touring for nine days, right in the middle of our Neptune run. We'll be performing at a dozen schools, from HRN to Anniganish and everywhere in between. And we'll also be presenting the show at Live Bait Theatre in Sackville, New Brunswick on December 7th, the Al Whittle Theatre in Wolfville, December 13th, and the Pearl Theatre in Lunenburg on December 14th, before we arrive back in Neptune the very next day to set up to take us forward to the Christmas. And the details of all these shows and everything you could possibly want to know about our show are on the fantastic new website, barhumbug.ca. Uh, so, I was so excited when that domain name was available. Um, that website has all the information about the show and is the best link 
to get you through to the Neptune box office online. You can buy tickets by phone at Neptune, 4297070, and online through barhumbug.ca, and of course in person at the theatre. And tickets are just 1850 which I think is a great price for such a fun show. Uh, a Christmas Carol is also available. I'm nearly done. Christmas Carol is also available as a piece of entertainment and a venue for your holiday party. We've received bookings already from folks hosting a unique uh, Christmas party for their staff and clients, where after the 80-minute performance on the Netflix Studio stage, they come on down and have their Christmas party with Scrooge as the host on the set with all the lights and all the excitement there. It's a fantastic idea for a Christmas party. And uh, we've done that before too, and they, they really are a lot of fun. And we've already had bookings. Those, those bookings have been taken through Limelight Communications, Inc., and there are still a few dates left for that package. Uh, Christmas party you won't forget. I'd like to end by wishing everyone, thank you for coming, a great holiday season before Ebenezer comes out and poses for photos and takes over and ruins the festive spirit. Uh, I also want to thank um, uh, Free Lunchbox for letting us in today. Uh, this wonderful store, and uh, I've already filled my pockets. Um, we <laughs> <laughs> haven't really. We've got some. Uh, we've got some humbugs for you, which we're going to let you take away as well. Little packets of humbugs, so you can enjoy those and think of Scrooge every time you suck on one. Um, <laughs> that wasn't scripted, I wish I could. There will now be a short moment when I just put on the wig and become Scrooge, and uh, then uh, we will. I'll do a little. I'll do a little passage from the place get some action shots, and uh, we're also going to have a full-scale media call on the 27th of November at 11 a.m. at the theatre on the set with all the lights where, we've, we, where we will be presenting a couple of scenes from the play uh, on that day. All right, so if you bear with me for just one second.